Hi, my name is Dave. Today we're going to look at several pre-1956 Unitron telescopes. Unitron telescopes were first marketed in the early 1950s, maybe 1952 or so. I'm not quite sure on the date, but these uh, are certainly the very earliest ones, uh, predating um, 1956, maybe 1955. Uh, we can tell that because of the saddle mounts saddle style mounts and a couple of other features that indicate that they are very early and a lot of these uh, these features were changed dramatically uh, over the next uh, few years in the late 1950s and they kind of stabilized pretty well after that. All right here we have three early 1950s Unitron small telescopes. This one uh, is the 127 which is a 40 millimeter scope Altaz mount a uh, very simple Altaz mount, matter of fact, very primitive. Uh, this one is the 128 with a 16 millimeter, considerably more sophisticated kind of a mount, a distinctive counterweight system here on the top because, of course, it has the saddle arrangement. And this is the 114 that I recently restored. And uh, all of them have the saddle type style mounts. The <laughs> the 127 has a mount that is so primitive that you can't even, there, there is no way, the only way to adjust it in azimuth is to pick the telescope up and move it around. This one, at least you can loosen it, move it around, and then you have, lock it down, and then you have slow motion. Uh, and of course, the equatorial has all the features of it, equatorial. It's kind of got this odd feature that uh, since it's on the cradle, it has to be balanced with this kind of a sliding counterweight system, which I find completely captivating. Let's give you a little better look at that all the way around. You can have a nice look at that. And let's move this around a little bit so you can look at it also. Get a look at it from both sides. You can see I think you'll be able to see that the finders here these finders are pretty much uh, identical, very similar at least, if not perfectly identical. This one, in order to turn it around for you, <laughs> I have to pick the whole thing up. Oh, what a pain! Imagine doing that to try and find something that's in the night sky. Okay, let's take a look at these scopes up close. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at these very early Unitron telescopes. Thank you for watching.